Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through token passing. So in the previous lecture, we have gone through polling and select also. We have just discussed about the basics guys. So we have already discussed those topics in the third unit. So that's the reason why I'm just going through them so that you can check the video of that and you can understand it guys because it's really simple and easy. Okay. So now let us continue with token passing. So basically token is nothing but a type of key guys. Fine. So if there is a particular key and a particular lock, so let us assume there is a universal lock for that with that particular key, you can unlock any kind of lock. Fine. So let us assume that. So let us assume this, this is a diagram guys. So when there are multiple devices, which need to transfer the data, if there will be a particular key, so whichever station or whichever device is having this key or token, that device can only send the data. Whereas other devices can receive the data. So this token will be rotating in the clockwise direction through one device to the other device. Fine. Okay. So in this, the station in a network are organized in a logical ring. So that's what we have discussed. They will be in one after the other format. So in this method, a special packet called token circulates through the ring in a clockwise direction. The position, this is nothing but position guys. Sorry for that. Okay. So the position of the token gives the station right to access the channel and send its data. So we can say that access and release is used. So it will access the uh, channel. It uses the channel and it releases the channel and the data packet will be sent to the next. So here initially the token is at A. Now A can send the data. If token moved to B, so now B can send the data as the packet is near B. So I hope everyone got a small idea. And the third type of protocols in Mac are nothing but channelized protocols, which we have already discussed clearly in the third unit guys. Those are nothing but frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through IEEE standards. Thank you. Thanks for watching.